Neil. Fuck you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're the guy stealing contracts. You burnt a farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, well that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this oh. or like oh. that, huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 Please. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley, big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes, yeah. before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products, things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins, it's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pair of fruitcakes.
can't do it. I can't marry him. In that case, jump on board. Just get me out of here, please. I live in Vinewood Hills, Campbell Hill Drive. Oh God, thank you so much. I was starting to think nobody was going to stop. People see a girl screaming in a wedding dress and they assume crazy. He's the crazy one, not me. Talk about anger issues. No, I couldn't go through with it. I'm not ready. Oh, just the thought of waking up next to that caveman every morning for the rest of my life. Oh, it gives me hives. Why is it men turn into such douchebags? It's all... Oh my God, no, I think that's him. He's coming after me. What the hell do you think you're doing? Leave me alone, I'm done with you. You're done when I say you're done. Get me away from him, please. I can't go back there. Oh, young love, it's a beautiful thing. It's over, there's nothing you can do about it. Think of all the else. Miss me!
Ah, oh, finally! Now please take me home. I can't wait to get out of this stupid dress. Anything for the bride on her special day. I should never have let it go this far. Oh God, what's my dad going to say? He spent 10 grand just on ice sculptures for the reception. We had these cute little cell phone covers made with our photo on them. It was going to be so fabulous. I can. Thank you so much. You saved me from the worst decision of my life. gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker. No. Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we on, exactly? Get up, huh? Get up. Oh. I'm sorry, man. We're Help. sorry. Help! Help! There's a guy with a gun. Ass wipe.
Redneck! Oh! I'll give you Redneck! Insult me in my hometown! Out of ammo! Old man! Why well, how's this for an old man? Union! And this is what I get!
Lucky miss! There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Can't get too much cleaner than that. Get a move on! All right, stick with me. I'll lead us... ...further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle, you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like 
someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like... Someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. Not too bad at all. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. There's good, should have a nice line. Now lay him in the shade. Not the flatheads. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Now 
Now lay him in the shade. What? You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.
There you are, handsome. No mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peace.
Man, are you serious? This motherfucker is fly. Glad you like it. As I told you, it's yours. Are you seriously serious? For the fifth time, yes. Well, I gotta go. I'll be in touch about our little venture. Man, good looking. Yeah. This motherfucker. Woo! Man, I just wish I could get a bigger bag of this good shit and Tanisha and go live on an island some fucking way. I could be on some motherfucking island motherfucking with this woman. She ain't my... From a toad to a prince.
It'll feel like a different engine, believe me. Those brakes are built to last. You know what? If you thought it was incredible getting a shot of that aging trout the other day, you just wait till we get a picture of Poppy Mitchell getting in a dirt box, man. Beverly, good to see you. No, seriously, dude. Dude, it is a backdoor bonanza with that bitch's concerned. Ah! America's newest sweetheart. Man, she likes cotton candy and puffy. Yeah, and getting in the bunghole. Wow. No, no, seriously, dude. One shot of that dirty little slut monkey, and we're in the money, homie. We're in the money. Uh -uh. And who says America is going to hell? Well, not me. I... <laughs> Come on, let's move. Now, remember, dude, this is a covert op. Okay. We need to blend in ninja style. Guys, you know Follow my lead. Confident but forgettable. From here on out, we're ghosts. Yeah, me and you, we ain't gonna stand out. At all. Shh, you blow our cover. This should be fucking interesting. I can hear someone! Stay close and play it cool! What do you want me to do? I'm at work. Just change this diaper. It's not that hard. I don't care if it smells...
sounds like number two. He's a grandpa. That's what family do. Listen, I gotta go. Love you. And do your homework, okay? Hey, Maria. How's it going? You know, another day, another minimum wage. You see the state of Bungalow 3? No, was it bad? Like a crime scene. Andrea said it was another animal party. Come on, they should be just past this pool. Quick, quick, before he blows his load! <gasps> They're right around this corner. Are you ready to see America's sweetheart getting in the sweet meat? <laughs> the celebrity, you idiot. Yeah, I must say, for a virgin, you're really not that into this. I'm only a virgin for TV. Really? I mean, I was Come on, man. Are you getting any of this? It doesn't count. What? I'm not releasing a sex tape for at least Please, three years. Please, don't let me down. Unless I need this. Unless my tells me to. What? I thought this... I love you, Poppy. I really want us to go places. I thought we could be the cutest teen couple. Justin, you're 21 and I'm 24. We only say we're teens for marketing purposes. That's not true. Okay. Just get on with it, will you? I'm hungry. There's someone watching. Oh, shit. Security. Abort. Abort. This way. You're fucking dead. Come on. Go, go, go. Security. Get in, get in! They're still coming after us! Well, don't just sit there! Film that psycho slut! Damn! America's sweetheart is one angry ass bitch! <laughs> yeah, I know! She's terrifying! It's perfect! I'll try to lose them! I was working on my quest, you idiot! Straight road coming up! This is your chance to get a good shot of her! Man, you're not the one hanging out this fucking trunk! You people are. Man, it's gonna get worse before it get better. Hey, what's up? Whoa, whoa! What the hell, man? That motherfucker's right on top of us, dawg! I'm taking a sharp right! Keep that camera on her! Ah. Oh. Those two men are child molesters! I'm gonna go left and cut across the intersection. Hold on! Stay on her! Yeah, fuck you too, man. You have no idea what I'm capable of! We need your face, man! Don't let me down! This crazy-ass bitch! Ah, oh, shit! We got traffic ahead! Going left! Keep it steady! I will fucking destroy you! And everyone who knows you! Jesus, she's still on us! Screw this! I'm going through the construction site! No! Man, shit! I hope this didn't just turn into a snuff movie. Eh, whatever, she's fine! Oh, wipe the audio. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Poppy Mitchell crashes car on drug-fueled sex rampage. Another illuminating experience, homie. Hey, well, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, look, if you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I am a fucking idiot.